I do take Adderall because I've been prescribed by a doctor. I'm a student at Santa Clara and I sell Adderall. I'm a student at Santa Clara University and I've taken Adderall recreationally. Adderall is just a brand name for really amphetamine, a type of amphetamine. That particular brand contains two different kinds of chemicals. They're very similar to one another. They just are, have slightly different structures, uh, but they do have different effects uh, on the brain. Um, the idea is that through increasing release of the neurotransmitter dopamine, um, those students are um, better able to concentrate on a particular task at hand and certainly for longer periods of time. I'm able to slow things down. I'm able to organize things better one thing at a time instead of like quick motion. It will like zoom you in. That's the only way I can describe it. I was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. I don't, that doesn't mean that I have attention deficit disorder. I don't think that attention deficit disorder is really an agreed upon diagnosis yet. You know, it's not like you can do a blood test for it. I typically sell 10 milligram pills to students because I guess they're the most common. And I took it when I was doing an all-nighter for a final exam in, in the next morning and I had a really hard time sleeping the next couple days because I had used it in addition to staying up all night. If you physically cannot get yourself to sleep and get your body to sort of recover at the end of the day, um, that can become problematic for your immune system and your ability to fight off disease, um, your ability to sort of make it uh, do day-to-day, -day, uh, uh, drive a car, you know, in a way that's safe. Um, and it's, it's psychologically very um, difficult to deal with. I don't give out mine, um, but some of my friends I do know have, been, have definitely always asked me, oh, can I have an Adderall? Like, can I take it? Like, I really need it. And to me, it's kind of like you don't even know the side effects because for everyone, it's different. I was pretty quickly up to 10, and then I was taking 20, 25. Once you try it one or t once or twice, it, it, it gets you like, on a high, obviously. It gets you like on a high where you're in this constant motion of, you know, you're getting your work done. You're getting everything done quicker. You're getting better grades. As the brain adapts, if, if an individual is continually taking the drug in high doses especially, um, the, those good feelings start to be harder to reach. And so you, you start to have to increase the dosage and thus the dependence kind of begins. If I were to say, oh yeah, I stopped taking it, it would, it would add a nice resolution, uh, you know, in the Adderall Diaries, my book. I mean, it would be really nice if at the end of the book I said, well, I'm not, and I'm not doing these drugs anymore. It, it does scare me because there have been problems. People have gone to the hospital with this, you know, it's, it's, it's a drug. Um, will it continue and will it rise? I think so. Um, but then again, can you stop something that's already out there? I'm very concerned with students uh, taking a cavalier approach with a drug that affects their brain. And we know, as we understand more about the brain, that every experience that you have, whether it's sitting in a classroom or going abroad, alters your brain fundamentally. If you start messing around with the natural chemical of your brain by taking a drug such as Adderall, and changing the levels that are being produced in your brain, you are altering your brain fundamentally, sometimes irreversibly, um, in ways that we don't understand yet.